Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about why you should never put somebody else's app on your Play Store page. So every so often I'll get an email from somebody saying, hey Eric, can you please publish my app on your Play Store page or on your App Store page, right? And every single time I thought it's a weird request, like why would I want to publish your app on my store page? And I do, I'll, I'll ask them and they, I get various reasons. Sometimes they'll say uh, Google Play is not available in my country or I have I've been suspended and they won't let me release another app, which is like, hmm. Or they, they'll say something like, because you have successful apps, my app being on your store page will look really good for my app and I'll get more downloads. And every single time they ask me that, my answer is always no, because it's kind of weird. I, like, I never understand it. Why would I put somebody else's app on my, on my page? Now, I will do it for a client app from time to time. Like if the client hasn't set up their app yet or they haven't set up their Play Store account yet, we like when we're in beta, we might publish it on our stuff, but that's different because we've compiled all the code, right? Now, I don't know if you guys saw this article or this uh, was well, was in the news quite a bit last month, like in the middle of April, where Google Play came out and uh, talked about the feedback they got from developers. And there's a really good blog post on the Android's developer blog from the 15th of April. I'll include a link to it in the description where they talked about how they're improving the review process. They're responding to a lot of the concerns that us developers had, like it's taking too long to hear feedback on reviews, appeals are taking too long, et cetera, et cetera. But at the bottom of this article, there's this really good section here on evaluating developer accounts. And it says, we also are concerns from developers whose accounts have been blocked from distributing apps through Google Play. While the vast majority of developers on Android are well-meaning, some s accounts are suspended for serious repeated violations of policies that protect our shared users. Bad faith developers are also trying to get around this by opening new accounts or by using developers' existing accounts to publish unsafe apps. While we strive for openness wherever possible, it's in order to prevent bad faith developers from gaming our system and putting our users at risk in the process, we can't always share the reasons we've concluded that one account is related to another. And we talked about this before, like a lot of people are getting their account suspended and they try to open up another one and it's being suspended immediately. In fact, we talked a few months ago about somebody who hired a developer and just having them associated with their account as a company, they got their app suspended immediately. And it was kind of like, it was like a, a terrible story, right? Which goes to show you, you should never put something on your Play Store page or on your App Store page that you have not compiled yourself, that you do not know what's going in it. It's the same as if you go to the airport and they say, did you pack this bag yourself? You say yes, because you have. So nobody's put anything in there that's illegal or trying to smuggle anything through. Apparently that's what developers do too. All these, um, all these spyware and malware and everything that goes through. If somebody asks you, I mean, it's kind of common sense now that you think about it. Yeah, now, it's, now you think about it, it's common sense. I don't know why when people ask me, I actually considered it going, why, why do you want that? I don't understand it. But yeah, never put anybody else's app on your Play Store page, right? Or on your App Store page because because you don't know where it's done, right? If you compile it, if, you, if you've written it, if it's for a client, you shouldn't do that anyway. They should set up their own Play Store account, but you know, you can still do it that way. But um, let me know what you guys think. First of all, have you ever had that email from somebody? Have you ever had anybody ask you to put your put their app on your store page, right? Because I'm wondering if it's just me or if it's like a spam thing that goes out. And secondly, have you been unjustly, have you been, had your account suspended and you feel it's been unjustly done and have you been able to open up another one? And you can answer that one if you want or not. I'm really curious about that. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.